Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. Hopefully we are going to fill our mat with a range of different commemorative finds from this book. No, from this book, from this bag. Uh, unusual because we got this from the bank, mm. but it's a post office bag from Glasgow, track one, don't know what that means, 17th of June 2020, so it's over a year old. Yeah. So I'm quite excited, seal bags, seal bags inside. Yeah. We've, uh, we've never had this before, have we? Yeah, not. We've had a... Um, Ready? We've had a Glasgow bag before, I think. Yes. Or, or was it Edinburgh? Was it Edinburgh? We've definitely had a, a Scottish bag before, but we've certainly never had a Scottish bag from the bank. Post office bag from the bank. Ooh, and they've got tears in as well. So I'm, uh, I'm pleased with that. So let's get dug straight into the first bag. See if you can find something of value. The technologies we're not interested in. The Standard design from 1997 to 2015 before it changed to the Britannia. In here we want commemoratives and there is the first one. It's not particularly valuable, it is just face value for it to find and it's the Guy Fawkes coin. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Is it a bronze this one or is it a, is it a, is it a total bog standard? Oh no, it's a bronze. It's a bronze find. So it's obviously gold finds that we're after. The greatest of the gold finds being Commonwealth Games. There is it. It's got to be a standard one, this one. This is the Act of Union. United into one kingdom around the, uh, the around the outside. And only definitely only worth face value. And I think it'll always only ever be worth two pound deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a golden guinea. There's that one. And a silver find. So it's a keeper that for a lot of people, I think, mm -hmm. with the mintage being just mm -hmm. under three million. Decent looking Florence Nightingale. Do you know what a guinea is? It is a splendid thing. It is a splendid thing. There's another reasonable condition, 1999. Not as good as that one I found last Sunday on my solo hunt. But it's a nice nick, nick that. I might just, might just leave that there in case, uh, in case I need it a little bit. Any excuse to keep a keep a coin and think, oh, got something nice, uh, nice coming up here. That's uh, oh, the Charles Dickens. That's a Putinson's enjoying it, whatever it is. For a sec, I got a bit excited there. I thought that was a for some reason. I thought it was a Commonwealth Games. Yeah, St Paul's. Oh, somebody at the door. excited about this it's a, it's a slightly different color this is quite a that kind of more brassy color I like that this is a slight pause there with Sir Poochington barking it's Ellie's birthday day Bruno uh, portrait. It's got his details on the outside. So yeah, it's Ellie's birthday, so a friends just pop round to bring her a present. And Sir Poochington is making himself known. Mm -hmm. Well, that looks exciting. And coin after that. Coin after that. To Tron mm -hmm. helmets. Absolute mess of, isn't it, in my solo hunt? Uh, yes, I believe so. I put the, that's the Army Centenary and I put it in the Navy Centenary mm -hmm. in the book. Like an absolute Norbert Styles. But never mind, I will correct it at some point. I haven't filmed the, filmed the solo hunt since. That was a Rugby World Cup, which is under 5 million. We'll be looking at Charles Dickens. I will put it right. I just don't know what I was thinking. Or just, not thinking. Yeah. I think just, it's probably the uh, answer. Yeah. Just had a, a senior moment, I think. <laughs> and I'm getting on now, Lady M. Oh, yeah, we are. How old is it now? Just entered my 30s. Wow. Senior, senior moment. Yeah. These 
one coming up. JC portrait. This will be nice. And it's, oh, it is nice. It's a navy centenary. <laughs> the one, yeah, the one I need for my yeah. own uh, own book. That's for sure. No flag error though. We do need one with a flag error for the book. It's, uh, and the writing's the right way around anyway. Oh no, it needs to be the right way around, doesn't it? Yes. For Ellie, for Ellie's book. It does. Is there, is there a little bit of? I mean, it's it's not. It's not. It's not the. Uh, it's not an error. It's not the. Make it the flag error or. A, Half flag or a cat? Is there, is there a bit? Is that just a bit of muck? A bit of muck there. I think so. Because if it did have a flag error, it would go in the book. This. It would. Then we'd only need whales. No. Nah, it's, nah, it's just a bit of muck. I think. Yeah, the flag error. So because it's, it's a, it's a dyed chip, isn't it? It's where the mm. where the chips died and then yep. died. Where there's been a, a chip there. <laughs> Chip died. Poor chip. The die is chipped, I should say, and a little bit's come off, and then when it when it's stamped the coin, it's left the the imprint here. Imprint. So it looks like there's a flag, and then sometimes it's, there's only a bit on this side. So it looks like there's a cat laying on the on the mast. Right. But no, I don't think I can. I don't think I can pass that off. Navy centenary cat error. Nice. Nice though. Goal find. Yeah. The sure shield of Britain around the outside. Mm. It's a goal find. It's the best one of this hunt. By a long chalk. There is another St. Paul's. So the Glasgow Post Office, track one, has served as well. And we've got a couple of bags each left to go. Yeah. Oh, there's another beauty. Mm. Another rare gold Ooh. find, top of the pops. Ooh. Flag error, lady. I'm no, no, a flag error. no flag error on that one either. I don't think. No, definitely not on that one. So that's uh, an Olympic coin under a million mil minted. The fourth Olympiad it'll have around the outside of London. Nice that. Mm. Nine million, nine million, nine hundred and ten thousand minted. Into my last bag. Yeah, me too. That's another Charles Dickens. What else can we pull out at the last? I'm not sure what I'm managing to do. Should have been checking for rotation errors as well. Sorry about fog on, leg on in the background to be able to hear Ellie just <laughs> like a fog on. She just, she just doesn't do quiet. Well, that has been a spectacular hunt. Nice that I, uh, I think. Obviously found two out of the three gold finds, Lady M. What, uh, which one's your plum? Which one's going into the plum find section? Uh, probably the Navy Centenary. The it's, Navy. It's, it's ages since we found one. It is, isn't it? It is, and that one's, that one's in the nicest condition. Tell so we will, put, we will put that in the plum find section. Right, if you're still with us, want to say thank you very much for watching us. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. Smash the like button if that's what you're into. Got that off another YouTube yes, channel. Yes, you did. Yeah, it doesn't sound quite the same when I say it. Sounds a bit, <laughs> sounds a bit wrong. And uh, if anyone wants to write to us, there is our PO box. So you don't have to send us anything. But if you want to send us a letter and you want us to write back, we can do that as well. There is our PO box um, address. Right, we're all done. Three fantastic finds. Still not quite there with the book, but never mind. Better luck next time. Right, thanks very much for watching. And we'll see you in the next episode.